Penetrator here. We're off to a block drain. That's right, we've got a block stormwater to go to. We're off to see David and try and nut out his block stormwater problems. He contacted me months ago with a block stormwater and then didn't hear anything about it. Then he contacted me a couple of weeks ago again and I just said, I'm still keen, mate. Just let me know when you're ready to ready to rock and roll. Then he contacted me again a couple of weeks later and said he is ready to go. He's ready to go. I'm ready to go. I'm fired up. Ah, let's go and get this stormwater sorted for him. I also don't think this one goes to the street from our conversation. So let's go and see if we can solve the problem. Right up. I'll see you when I get there. Out here at this block stormwater. Nozzle stuck just a little bit further than that. Yeah. Stormwater. David had a go and got his jetter hose stuck. But it looks like I've just pulled it straight out. It was not coming out before. <laughs> yeah, your jet is out, mate. Yeah, or your eel hose. That's all done. It was stuck here somewhere, but it just came straight out. I must upset it with the camera enough and some water. <laughs> I was looking forward to pulling that out with a jet <laughs> and showing some skills. I didn't need to show any skill. Um, he's drilled a hole through here. That just goes to a square junction there. We don't know where it goes. There's no infrastructure. Infrastructure is like a couple of blocks away. Um, so we don't know if it's going down there or if it's just going to stop here. Um, that was reasonably deep where that mark is, so I'm a little bit... It's odd that that's deep and that's shallow. Uh, there's a point over here. We've gone down. It just hits a square junction again. So we've got to keep trying to find a point that will give us access. And this might be the one here. I think this is going to run down, take a bend, and then maybe... Uh, trace along that pipe under all those hedges and hopefully that can get us in the direction we need to go so one job's down we got his hose out next job let's see if we can nut this out for him everything's connected let's go far up the jetter the toad he's on the footpath and we got mad ball and traffic control officer tight little corner Small penetrating nozzle. Let's see if this will um, give us some more information as to what's going on. I'm expecting to see water come out where that hole's dug. As if we go past that area. So it's around about four meters, five meters to the end of this shed. And I think we're on that bend now. Hopefully it's not another square junction. We're only like six meters down. We're only just around that corner and it wants to bite on something for me. I'm just gonna leave it sit there for a second. Uh, 
Okay, so we're in that line. We'd be under there somewhere. And no water's come up here yet. You can't hear anything. So a heap of water just dropped. Can't see much, I can just see it in that pipe. Yeah, we're filling back up. And we're out of water. No roots, no nothing. So I had a look with the camera, I couldn't see much, but I think I got a glimpse of a tree root. And that's around that area with all this stuff. They do love getting into pipes if they're not joined properly. Um, there is a square junction just up here. I'm gonna see if I can just flick it one way first and hopefully go that way. All this stuff came back, small bits of gravel. So I feel for gravel coming back on my hand too, because that's an indication of just hitting gravel. There's more of it.
towards that. Yeah. So I pulled out brick, roof tile, and I can feel the, the hollowness here. Another brick I can feel there. And there's a pipe right there. And there's the end of a pipe right there. So there's, uh, I reckon if I grab a shovel, Don't want to slice my hand open, but I'll have a quick dig. Thank you. Nice big worm. Chuck him over there so the birds don't get him. What, did I feel a pipe? I thought I felt a pipe. Or was it a brick? Yeah, I'm very confident. I could be jumping the gun here, but this is a going to a rubble pit. Just with all this brick. I thought I felt a top of a pipe. Maybe I didn't. I felt the top of the pipe. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there. There's the pipe. Yeah, there. Pipe's right here. I reckon if I stick the jet through, now you'll you'll see it come up everywhere. There's the top of my pipe, right there. And I reckon that pipe will run back up that way, towards the shed. Maybe not. I don't know it's fitting. It's hitting something. Okay, I'll have a chat to David. We'll see what we're going to do. We're all done here. We had a win. We got the jet out at least for him. That's a good one. Here, just going to let that all drain. Uh, David's going to look into it and tidy all that up. But yeah, it just goes to that gravel pit. I uh, spoke to him about a couple of um, options, what to do here. It's a bit of a low point. Um, depends on what he's doing with his house as well, but I'd be inclined to put some sort of sump pump in there and pumping it to the street. One to pick up the roof water and the other one to pick up ground and surface water. And then if one failed, hopefully the other one could pick up the slack and hopefully both don't fail at the same time. Right, eh? Let's go wash up. We're all done here. Toad, TCO, Mad Ball. Right, I'll, I'll see you on the next one.